Hi, um, this is going to be my tutorial on how to add themes to VB6, um, which includes a VB6 IDE as well as your own programs that you make with VB6. Um, there have been other videos on YouTube uh, that explain this, um, but they seem to overcomplicate the process. And so what I'm doing is I'm providing a um, zip file or a 7-zip file that you can download in the description of this video that will allow you to do this uh, fairly simply. Um, so I'll extract the zip and I'll show you what's inside of it and how you do it. So just extract here and inside the folder you'll find readme, vb6 manifest, and xp themes. So th this manifest, if you open up the readme file, we can just follow the steps. I type this up so you can uh, you don't have to watch the video every time you want to do this for your program but I mean you should be able to get it down after like two or three times because it's really easy to do but okay so the first step is the VB6 manifest should be copied to the VB installation folder which is usually C program files uh, Visual Studio VB98 um, so that's what we'll do now um, in my case it's a little different I installed it to a different place but uh, you should find it where I said. Um, let's do that. VB6 and should go right here. Okay. Um. So actually, I'm gonna delete that and I'm gonna show you VB6 now without it. Here's VB6 without it. Um. Notice when I create a button it'll it'll looks like kinda like that kinda bland uh, does the standard XP uh, I mean the standard um, style as you can see so now I'll close out of here and I'll paste in I gotta copy it again copy this and paste it into the VB folder and it's over there as you can see. Now when I run VB, you can see that it's now using themes, see? When I click open, um, now I have my exe thing here and right now you can see that it's now using themes for the buttons and stuff. Okay, now the thing is uh, when you compile this it won't use the themes after this so that's why there are more steps in the process so uh, the second step um, this just explains that uh, what this XP themes is for but the second step is open VB6 so we already have it opened um, you should now notice the new theme in the ID so yeah I just showed you that it changed the, th the theme of the buttons right there uh, then step three is to create a new project. Already did that. Then click the project menu. Okay, so we'll do that. And then after you click project, you click add new resource file. So go to project, add new resource file. And now you browse for the file that was included in my download uh, zip that I gave you. Um, in my case, it's right here. Um, so just open that up and when you do that you should see a re related documents item form in here and inside of it should be that file you just included so now that you've done that uh, there's pretty much only one more thing you have to do you have to open up the code for the form I usually just right click on the form and say view code and then you have your window here then you just go right in here and uh, says copy copy and paste the following code to your form. So you just copy this, copy it, and paste it right in there. You might have some uh, formatting issues, so just remove the extra tabs or whatever. Uh, but that doesn't really matter for this demonstration. Um, so then you close out of that, and then you make your exe. Project one, okay, and 
my installation of VB6 has this thing where it asks you if you want a console or Windows application. Uh, you shouldn't run into this. This is just because sometimes I make console programs with VB6. So I'll just press Windows. Um, and that should be it. Now when I go to that folder, right here where I compiled it, and I run it, you can see now it has themes. So now with this package, uh, you make not only the VB6 IDE have themes, but also your programs have themes. So that's about it for this tutorial. Um, hope it was useful um, and hope it was simpler than the other ones. Um, so, yep, thanks for watching.